Listen to part of a lecture in an environmental studies class. Today, we'll be discussing the life and legacy of one of America's most prominent environmentalists, John Muir. Muir is widely regarded as a visionary figure in the history of the conservation movement, who played a pivotal role in the establishment of several of the United States' most iconic national parks. First, let's take a look at Muir's background. Muir was born in Scotland in 1838 and migrated to the United States with his family at a young age. Growing up on a farm in Wisconsin, he developed an early appreciation and fascination for the natural world around him. This passion for nature would go on to define his life's work. In his late 20s, Muir moved to California, where he immersed himself in stunningly beautiful landscapes. This experience further compelled him to become an influential naturalist. He also felt urged to pen his experiences with the majestic wilderness. His journals and essays gained wide recognition and popularity in a short period of time. Now, how is it that his writings had such a significant impact? Well, Muir had an incredible gift for storytelling. His work is characterized by vivid, almost poetic descriptions of landscapes like the Yosemite Valley and the Sierra Nevada Mountains. He had a profound reverence for the beauty and power of the wilderness, and this reverence shines through in his evocative prose. Muir's writing wasn't just beautifully descriptive, though. It also served as a powerful vehicle for his advocacy of environmental conservation. It's almost public knowledge that Muir was a tireless champion of safeguarding America's natural landscapes from exploitation and destruction. His advocacy was instrumental in the creation of Yosemite National Park, which he saw as a symbol of the nation's natural heritage. But Muir's influence didn't stop there. He also made a significant contribution to the establishment of other iconic parks, like Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. These parks are home to some of the largest trees on the planet, the giant sequoias. Muir viewed these magnificent specimens as living embodiments of the grandeur and power of the natural world. So, how exactly did Muir go about advocating for these parks? Well, in addition to his evocative writing, Muir was also a skilled lobbyist and networker. He built connections with influential figures in government and the scientific community. He used his powers of persuasion to garner support for conservation efforts. Many of his articles and essays were published in prominent magazines of the time, which further helped amplify his message. Muir's advocacy was rooted in a deep spiritual reverence for nature. He saw the wilderness as a source of spiritual renewal and inspiration, a testament to the grandeur of the universe. His writings are imbued with a sense of wonder and awe. That invites readers to appreciate the beauty and power of the natural world. The legacy of John Muir lives on today in the national parks he helped to establish. These protected landscapes stand as monuments to his vision and his tireless efforts to preserve America's natural heritage. Muir's work continues to inspire environmentalists, nature lovers, and all those who recognize the intrinsic value of the wild places on our planet. John Muir was born in Scotland and became a naturalized citizen of the United States of America. But that doesn't automatically mean that only Americans should inherit his spirit. The world could learn a few things from his life, such as the importance of appreciating the beauty and power of nature and the responsibility we all share in conserving these irreplaceable wild places for future generations.